All right, guys, our plugin is almost complete. We have the form displayed. We have our widget code classes defined. Um, we're sending posts to mailer.php through the form. Um, so now all we have left to do is actually send uh, a form to the webmaster, to the recipient. All right, so the first thing that I want to do here is check for posts. Okay, so we want to check to see if any post has been made to the page. Okay, so check post. Uh, and the way we can do that, we can say if, uh, and we can use the server super global. We'll say if server request method is equal to post. Okay, then we can do what we're going to do. Let's say echo post has been made. And then we'll say else echo no, no post made. Okay, let's reload. Whoop. Okay, I'm just going to put whatever in here. Okay, so you can see post has been made. All right, so this if this if statement is working, um, except that if a post isn't made, I'm not just going to echo out no post made. What we're going to do is uh, basically send in a forbidden response. Okay, so people can't access this file without making a post. All right, put that there. So if a post has been made, then let's go ahead and get and sanitize um, post values. Okay, so the first one we want to get is the name field. Okay, we'll set that to strip tags. Uh, you can sanitize however you feel. I'm just doing some basic uh, cleanup. So strip tags, and then I also want to trim uh, the post name. So post post name. Next, we'll do email. Um, so email equals, and I'm going to use the PHP filter var um, sanitation method. So filter variable. Okay, and what we need to do here is first pass in the value. So that will be the email. Um, and I'm going to trim that up too. So trim post email. Okay, so that's the first parameter. The next one is going to be the actual uh, sanitation string. So it's going to be filter sanitize email. All right, and I'd recommend using this um, with if you're creating PHP forms and oh, right, so sorry about that. Um, and you can see all the different options you have. You can make sure it's a number or whatever. Um, so it's really good, um, really good API to use. So name, email, message, uh, message. We'll just trim that up. And let's see. Post message. All right, so that's the message. Next, we want our recipient. Okay, recipient. Um, and remember, the recipient is. Um, coming from a hidden field. It's not actually something that someone types in. Okay, recipient, and then we also want the subject. Uh, 
All right, so that captures all of our form data and puts them in variables. Uh, as far as validation, um, we do have client side validation for the email because we're using the HTML5 email input, but I wanna do just some very, very simple server side validation. I'm basically just gonna make sure that um, the fields are filled in. We don't want empty fields and also the email. We're going to check the email. Actually, we don't need to do the email because we're sanitizing it up here. All right, so I'm going to say if uh, if empty name or empty message or empty email all right uh, and then what we're going to do is just set a 400 error and okay we'll set a 400 bad request and then we're just going to say, please check your form fields and then exit. Okay, so that's our validation. All right, and then after that, we're going to start to build our email. So we want to build message. Uh, basically, I want the webmaster to be able to check the email and see those fields nicely uh, displayed. All right, so let's build our message. Um, message equals name. Okay, and then we just want to display the name. So name, and then we'll do a programming uh, line break. Okay, and we're just going to add on to this. So message, you want to make sure you do a dot equal sign because that'll append to the current message. All right, so this will be email, email, and we'll say forward slash n twice, and then message. Again, we're going to append. message and then I'm going to do a line break right here message and n okay so that's the message now let's uh, build our headers okay so headers is equal to from from name and then we're going to do greater than whoop hold on from name and then greater than uh, less than greater than and then email and yeah that's good okay and then we want to send the email All right, so if mail, so we're gonna use the mail function. And inside of that, we wanna put recipient. We want our subject message and headers. Headers. Okay, so if it is sent successfully, then we're going to post a 200 message, 200 response, which is success, and just echo out "thank you." Um, and we're going to say "else." Okay, so if the if the it isn't sent, then we're going to set a 500 response error with a message.
and that should be it so we'll save that uh, actually I have a dot here this these should be commas sorry about that all right all right now I'm using Xamp I'm using um, a local Apache server so it's not going to actually send the email um, but it should give us the the correct response if everything goes well if there's no error in the actual code okay so name email message okay send and you can see it says your message has been sent also the fields have cleared out all right so it's working exactly as it's supposed to so i hope you enjoyed this chapter and project and i will see you in the next thanks